Hi, it's Eva Cartman, and you are listening to the Dream Big Podcast Show, the place to go to learn, laugh, and grow. Today, we welcome Pencils of Promise and Mission U founder, Adam Braun, who has big dreams about education and is making those dreams a reality. This is episode 45, Big Dreamers. You ready? It's time to dream big. Welcome to the Dream Big Podcast Show. We're inspiring you to shoot for the moon, take aim and go. We bring to you amazing guests who truly love what they do. Every day they're living their dreams, and so can you. Dream big, take action to reach your goals. Are you pumped yet? It's showtime, let's rock and roll. Welcome to the Dream Big Podcast Show. I am your host, Steve Cartman. And today, I'd like to start with a special thank you to the newest members of the Dream Big Squad, Eileen, Shelley, and Alan Kay, and their families. Thank you for supporting the Dream Big Podcast. If you would like to become a member of the squad and get a special shout-out from me on the show then please head to dreambigsquad.com. Squad members also get access to a special commercial-free feed of the Dream Big Podcast with all of our past episodes and lots of other cool squad-only perks as well. I want to give a quick shout-out to the review of the week. Every week, I'll be reading one of your reviews on iTunes. My mom and I read all of the reviews. It's so nice to hear from the audience and the reviews, and the reviews are really important to keep us high in the charts, so we can inspire more people to dream big. This review is from Taco Gus for Life, and reads, What I love about this podcast is Olga and Eva's ability to inspire me to do the things that I love most. And it's a great reminder that it's never too early or too late to dream big. Thank you so much, Taco Gus for Life, for your review. For a limited time, we are actually sending out free personalized stickers to big dreamers who take the time to leave an honest review. Parents, you can go to dreambigpodcast.com slash bonus with your kids for the details on how to claim the free stickers. With all that said, I want to turn to the very special guest we have on this week's episode, Adam Braun. Adam is the founder and CEO of Mission U which is reimagining what college should look like. He'll be sharing that vision in this episode, as well as telling us about his experience as the founder of Pencils of Promise, the award-winning nonprofit that has built over 400 schools around the world. He's also the best-selling author of A Promise of a Pencil, How an Ordinary Person Can Create Extraordinary Change, You can find the show notes for this episode, which includes links to everything we discuss on this podcast at dreambigpodcast.com slash 45. Big Dreamers, I'm so excited to introduce you to Adam Braun. Let's roll the tape. Hi, Adam. Hi. Well, first off, thank you so much for coming on the show. My parents have been telling me the amazing work you've done. Thank you. We love watching your interviews. We love watching your work with Pencils of Promise and, of course, Mission U that we're going to talk about today. Mm-hmm. Sounds great. You know, obviously the name of our podcast is the Dream Big Podcast. And I think what you've done with Pencils of Promise and now Mission U, which we'll get to shortly, is exactly what Dreaming Big is all about. And I just wanted to share with our audience that you have an amazing tracker on the Pencils of Promise website, and it shows that the organization has built 418 schools to date with 72,000 students. Yeah, those numbers are huge. It's hard even to remember. Yeah. Adam, congratulations. This is amazing. Thank Mm -hmm. you. Can you share with our audience how Pencils of Promise became a dream of yours? And I'm curious, did you ever dream it would be this big? Sure. So, you know, Pencil of Promise started out with a simple ambition, which was to build one school in the developing world. And, you know, my grandmother at the time was turning 80 and and was very much just, you know, someone that meant a lot to me. And I wanted to honor her in her lifetime. 
And I remember, you know, in the early days, I just wanted to build one school. That seemed like such an insurmountable, uh, tremendous obstacle, um, but something that I believed could be done. And I think, you know, the the real kind of moment of, of inflection where things shifted from, hey, we can build one school to we can build hundreds of schools was when one other person really demonstrated their dedication. And it was uh, a woman that I met named Mimi who came to one of our early parties and then followed up and said, I want to get involved. And I thought, oh, no, this is just something that my friends and I are going to throw some fundraisers for and then I'll build one school. And she said, no, I really want to make this a part of my life, too. And I realized, oh, my gosh. Maybe this isn't just a personal project. Perhaps I can build a a broader movement. And I remember saying to her, again, we probably had $8,000 that we had raised from one party. And uh, I said to Mimi, if if you really get involved and work with me on this and we can, you know, others will will follow that lead. um, I promise you, Pencil Promise will build hundreds of schools around the world. And I thought maybe two or three hundred within, you know, 20 years. Uh, I I don't think that I'd be able to confidently say we'd be at, you know, 400 plus in less than a decade. So, um, you know, the dream was big, but uh, I think we've gotten there even faster than I would have expected. You know, Big Dreamers, this is a really this is really important for all of you out there. You can accomplish more than you can ever imagine. If you go for it and have a big vision, you can inspire others to join you and accomplish even more than what you were expecting. Yeah. You know, we had a similar we had a similar experience with the podcast which we launched just for fun so I could talk to cool people. And now we are growing a community that we never expected to have. It's amazing. Yeah, it all comes with just your desire and with your passion mm-hmm. inside of you, right? So this is how you can inspire others. Yeah, and when you just said that you met someone named Mimi, actually, I, um, my grandma was named Grandma Mimi. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's awesome. That's a coincidence, right? Mm-hmm. Can you share how you came up with the name of Pencils of Promise? Yeah. Um, you know, years earlier when I was a college student, I was traveling through many different countries and I would ask one child per country what they wanted most in the world and have them write that down on a piece of paper. And a young boy who was begging on the streets of India, I asked, and his answer was a pencil. And I had a pencil with me and I gave it to him and, you know, he was just so excited. And then I learned that he had never been to school before. And it was it was just a really powerful moment. And all these other kids kind of ran around uh, the next day. And, you know, I started passing out pens and pencils. And then as I traveled through dozens and dozens of countries, that was kind of, you know, the one thing I consistently did was I passed out these pens and pencils and they opened up conversations and uh, eventually, um, you know, in, in late September of 2008, I knew that I wanted to start an organization that couldn't really identify uh, the right name. And one night that that name just kind of struck me, Pencils of Promise. You know, promise is both an oath and a commitment uh, yeah. that you're making to somebody else, but it also represents the potential. Someone has true promise yeah. in them. And uh, I, I kind of went home and literally wrote out our, our uh, charter, a bunch of ideas. And Pencils of Promise was really born that night. Cool. You know, this is definitely something that most of our audience doesn't even realize is an issue because we take for granted that much of the world, kids don't have access to free public schools. Yeah. We had a guest on the um, podcast named Kakenya, and she told us about how girls did not have even get access to education in the village that she grew up in. Yeah, so definitely big dreamers, don't take anything for granted and appreciate what you have access to. You know, some little boys just don't have a little pencil. You probably, yeah. Adam, thought, oh, he would ask for a car or iPad or <laughs> iPad Touch, right? But it was a simple pencil. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And before you started Pencils of Promise, you had a traditional corporate job. You're making... Good money at a well-respected company. I'm curious, what was it that made you realize that career path was not for you in the long term? Um, yeah, I, I think it was uh, pretty early on. Uh, after probably my first six months at that job, I just I just realized that um, as much as I was learning a lot and I enjoyed the people that I was working with, I didn't have a true sense of ownership. Part of it might have been because I was working consulting, where you make recommendations to other companies. And you work really, really hard, but you have no ultimate determination as to whether those recommendations are are actually executed. If someone actually takes them and then goes and 
fulfills them. And, you know, I'd always been starting businesses since I was a kid. So I was used to the exact opposite of, you know, kind of having total ownership over the outcome and, you know, as well as the failure being on your shoulders. And I just wanted to get back to those roots of mine of always, you know, being an entrepreneur. And, and that's what drove me to, you know, first found Pencils of Promise and now Mission You. You know, for the parents who are listening, it is never too late to live your passion and do what you love every day. Exactly. And we encourage our big dreamers to get your book. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about it, Adam? Yeah, my book is called The Promise of a Pencil. Uh, what's important is also the subtitle, How an Ordinary Person Can Create Extraordinary Change. And it came out in early 2014. Uh, it went to number two on the New York Times bestseller list and spent you know several months both in hardback and, and paperback on the, the list. Um, and, you know, fortunately, uh, it's, it's, you know, been really well received and it's not only the story of, of founding and then growing and building pencils of promise, but, you know, it's, it's framed around 30 short stories. Uh, each chapter is a, essentially a kind of short vignette, um, that's about five to nine pages. It's a very fast read. And each of those chapters is titled with a mantra and the mantras are really the lessons learned and the path to both success and significance. And uh, I'd encourage anyone that's listening to go out on Amazon or, you know, Barnes and Nobles or any local bookstore and uh, pick up a copy of The Promise of a Pencil. Yes, we'll definitely include all the links in our show notes. And um, we encourage you uh, listeners to check it out because it is simply amazing book and those stories are very touching and inspirational. Mm -hmm. And you have a new company you are focusing on now called Mission You. Where, yeah, that's correct. Where are you um tack where you are tackling another huge problem in education, and that is our broken college system. Can you share the mission for Mission U? Yeah, Mission U's uh, core mission is to enable learning to transform into life changing livelihood. And what that really means is that um, you know when I met my my wife, she had over a hundred thousand dollars of student debt without actually attend a bachelor's degree because the financial burden was so enormous that she had to leave school before, you know, fully completing after just a few years. And the more I looked into the state of higher education in, uh, in the United States, the more clear it became that we position the bachelor's degree as a one size fits all system, but it actually doesn't work, uh, you know, for really for the majority of people. And we need new forms of higher education that are uh, more accelerated, uh, more connected to the skills uh, that people are actually seeking to learn and also uh, really uses best in class technology uh, to uh, enhance that learning and, and social experience. And so uh, the last part is it's a debt free program. So uh, it's one year. And when you get into Mission U, uh, there's actually no upfront tuition at all. And instead of you paying all this money up front and taking on all this debt, we actually say, let us invest in you for a full year. You don't pay anything. Uh, and then at the end of that year, uh, you contribute back a percentage of your income uh, for just three years and only once you're making a minimum of $50,000 or more. Wow. So, I, yep. So anyone can go to M-I-S-S-I-O-N-U.com and uh, apply to Mission U today. Wow. Ooh. And then um, they can be of any age or uh, is there a wait list? I'm imagining this is probably um, you're just starting this project or can you can anyone apply? Can anyone get in? Yeah. So anybody can apply. Um, you know, our target is is really a 19 to 29 year old. Uh, that's the kind of core age range that we're targeting. But absolutely anybody can apply. You know, in our cohort this fall, we'll have Students that range from 18 all the way up to, uh, I believe, 49 is the oldest. But the, the majority are in their early to mid-20s. Well, I don't know too much about college yet since I'm only eight. But we were talking the other day about how messed up elementary school is. Do you know we only get science every, every, once, every, once every few months? Yeah. And they definitely don't teach you, you guys about principles of success. success psychology, positive mindset, and mm. so much more. Yeah. Well, you know, I also wasn't born in this country and um, luckily or not luckily, I don't know. I don't have that either, but I see my friends who graduated uh, from colleges and they're paying for their education way, way, way after 
uh, their complete their education, and it's very stressful. You just starting your new life. You're excited, and it's hard enough to find job and everything. But now you have that debt. So I'm really, really excited for this new project. And Adam, I'm sure you are not doing it alone. Obviously, you have a team of people working uh, with you, and yep. uh, I know a lot of powerful people join uh, on board of Mission U as well. Yeah, yeah, we've had a pretty incredible team uh, build up very quickly. Uh, we also have some incredible folks um, that are, uh, you know, deeply invested in our work. We have one of the most famous Harvard professors, uh, Dr. Tony Wagner, who chairs our advisory board. Um, you know, we've partnered together with great companies like Spotify, Lyft, Uber, Warby Parker, Casper, Harry's, and more to help uh, advise our curriculum, uh, co-create content, and then get uh, early access to our top graduates. Cool. What is your big dream for Mission U? And I really want you to shoot for the stars, Adam, with your response. Where would you like to see Mission U in 10 years from now? Yeah, um, I would like to see Mission U be one of the most uh, important education companies of the next decade. And what that means is, you know, 10 years from now, have not just tens of thousands, but probably, you know, in excess of, of uh, about 100,000 graduates. Um, and really uh, apply pressure to our existing system to be more held accountable to the outcomes and success of our uh, next generation of students. That's great. Well, as I said, I'm very excited for my daughters to uh, have new mm -hmm. education, not mm -hmm. like the broken system education. You can see it already in elementary schools that are, it's either lack of understanding that the world is changing so fast and we we have to keep up with this new generation yeah. now they can teach us have a lot of things and we definitely if we give them environment where they can thrive where they can learn principles that they don't teach you at schools unfortunately nowadays as Eva said success and positive mindset yeah. and business principles we can see way better world than we have now way better Yeah. Absolutely. Couldn't so, agree more. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Mm -hmm. I was wondering um, if you knew p why people don't teach success and positive mindset and all that for inside schools. Do you know why? Um, I, I don't know the answer why, but I think the fact that you're surfacing it um, is important. And my hope is that young leaders like yourself can really make sure that it becomes uh, more and more uh, standardized part of curriculums nationwide. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Adam, for bringing it all Thank together. You. We also would like to learn a little bit more uh, about you as a person. And we heard in one of your interviews that you used to be introvert. Is that correct? Yes, you that still is. still introvert. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a lot more comfortable now. I'll say with a lot uh, of interviews now, attention from media. I'm sure you had to get out of your comfort zone at some point, mm -hmm. right? How yeah, did, was, um, go ahead. How did you get over that fear? Um, you know, I just kind of uh, forced it uh, onto myself, really through travel. I mean, you know, I would go traveling for extended periods of time, often alone, and. You know, sometimes I would go a whole week and I wouldn't really talk to anybody. And uh, what that led to was a desire to meet new people. And fortunately, in the traveling community, people tend to be really open and friendly. And that was really helpful uh, to kind of pull me out of being an introvert. And now I, I think I'm pretty extroverted. I heard um, in one of your um, talk shows that or TED Talk um, that um That you met that there was this guy when you were um when you were traveling it that when you were traveling and he invited you to stay in his village and yeah. stay in his house. What were you thinking then? Um, I was thinking that there was an amazing opportunity to have a transformational experience uh, with this person who seemed you know, very, very genuine and very humble and um, that I could perhaps have a, not only a positive impact in his life, that he could have a positive impact on mine. Hmm. 
So big dreamers, remember, if you feel shy or if you feel maybe fear of public speaking, uh, only practice and getting yourself out there will help. And uh, it's great to be by yourself and travel maybe by yourself. And uh, it's great to do meditations, but it also helps to share your knowledge, your wisdom, your desires, your dream with uh, dreams with others. Uh, as we can see, if Adam would never share his dream, never invited his friends to participate, he would never build these amazing companies and pencil, as Pencils of Promise and Mission U. So definitely try to get out of your comfort zone and experience different types of environment. And for our few final questions, if you go back in time and talk to our 10-year-old self, what would be the best advice? Um, my best advice would be to be kind to others, to invite uh, inquiry, ask others uh, how they could help me improve myself and, um, you know, make sure that I, I love and respect my family. Hmm. Thank you. Thanks. You have already made many of your dreams a reality, but if you look at yourself today, what is your big dream for your for the future? Um. You know, professionally, obviously, I'd like to see Mission U transform a lot of lives. But uh, really, the most important thing above all else to me is family right now. I have seven month old twins. And so to be a great father, an example for them and uh, to be a great husband to my wife. Congratulations. One more question, Adam. What trait do you have that it has enabled you to take your dream, uh, dreams into reality? Uh, I'd say that one trait is that... Um, I am willing to do the deep introspective work uh, to get to uh, ask, you know, and, and I would say explore the kind of inner levels of, you know, my my kind of heart and soul to get to a place where uh, I believe in an idea with such conviction that I can reach into there and then communicate that to others and, and ultimately kind of, you know, I think demonstrate a level of, of purpose around an idea that it has to exist in the world. Um, that that rallies others and then gives those uh, other people that get involved in that work with me an opportunity to not only uh, advance that dream, but to take ownership and really uh, be a meaningful part of it as well. And you said one very, very important world, word is purpose. Mm -hmm. And I would like to emphasize that for our big dreamers that Purpose is really, really important in your life. And everything you do, ask yourself a question. Why? Why am I doing that? There's going to be something bigger than what you see right at, right now in front of you. And even if it's some task that probably you don't like doing, maybe there is higher purpose for that. So, mm -hmm. And that's just a stepping stone to get where you really want to be in life. So thank yeah. you, Adam, for sharing. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you. And for our very last question, is it is, where can our audience find out more about you? They can, uh, on social media, uh, just on Instagram, uh, it's uh, ITS Adam Braun. So it's Adam Braun. On Twitter, just uh, at Adam Braun. And then my website is adambraun.com, A-D-A-M-B-R-A-U-N.com. And then missionu.com uh, or pencilsofpromise.org. Awesome. And we'll include all thank the links you. in our show notes. Thank you now. Okay, thank you. Thank Have you. a great day. Bye-bye. Well, Big Dreamers, it was so exciting to hear about how the positive change made by Pencils of Promise has exceeded Adam's biggest dream for the organization. And I'm sure with his leadership, the same will happen for Mission U. You can get links to everything we discuss and find out how to connect with Adam at our show notes which is dreambigpodcast.com slash 45. When you go to the show notes, you'll see a place to sign up for Big Dreamer Insider Tips, where we sent exclusive content, including a free audio that I made on my top 10 tips for making and keeping great friends. I know this will really help you, so please be sure to join the newsletter to get it for free. And again, please consider leaving a review for the show if you are getting value from it. It really helps get exposure for the show, and we love hearing from our fans. Plus, if you go to dreambigpodcast.com slash bonus, you can claim your free personalized stickers for taking the time to leave an honest review. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Eva Cartman reminding you that you have unlimited potential. Your big dreams are not optional. You need to make them essential. So take massive action and turn those big dreams into reality. Live with passion the way life is meant to be. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Thanks from me.